This is a supplemental video to the 11 to 17 return style fuel systems we just shot. This will cover from the firewall forward on the 18th and up because everything else is the same. These are the components that we're gonna be dealing with today and then be installing. You have your fuel pressure regulator with your gauge already installed on this one. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. You have your adapter, you have your bracket with your hardware kit, you have your feed line and you have your return line. When you get your regulator, it won't have the gauge on it. So you're gonna to have to remove this plug and fuel eats Teflon. So don't be using Teflon on your gauge. Be using Loctite on it. Put your dab on. like that. Now that you installed your gauge, go ahead and tighten it up and make sure she's centered where you like it. And you're going to start with the supply side, which is on this vacuum port side. You're going to need your adapter and take your O-ring, install your O-ring and be sure to lubricate all your O-rings. Next, we're gonna install the line to the fuel rail. Don't forget to lubricate. Like that. Leave that one tilted up so you can install your return line. This side's gonna clip into your factory lines. And last but not least, we're gonna put in the bracket with the hardware. go. A little tightening and she's ready for the car. So the next thing we do is we're going to mount the regulator to the strut tower with this pre-existing threaded hole right down here. So the bolt just drops through the bracket through here into that pre-existing hole we just showed you. Now that that's secure, we're gonna go ahead and run our lines. So this is your supply line into the vehicle. And we highly recommend that you always isolate this, especially when it goes across the top of your booster or else you're gonna get really bad noise. So take a heater hose and split it down the side and just feed it right over your fuel line like this. So that way it has a nice rubber stopper up against the top of your brake booster. Go ahead and zip that into place. Now we're ready to install the supply line. So you take your supply line and put it to the inlet of your regulator. Just like that. 
And this will go straight to your fuel rail. We've moved up the EVAP hose out of the way so we can go ahead and grab it. We're using an Odin for this install, but this will work for most side feed applications. Now that we already have your supply and your feed line installed, we're gonna go ahead and click in your return. Your return line utilizes your factory feed. And last but not least, we're gonna hook up our boost reference to your regulator. Before you boost reference your fuel regulator, always consult your tuners. If so, this is the backside of our Odin, and uh, we're going to remove this plug and put an eighth MPT barb in there. And this is post rotor and post intercooler, so you have the cleanest boost to your fuel pressure regulator. That concludes the fuel system install for the 18 and up. For the full video, we have a link at the bottom for you, and as always, like, share, and subscribe.